Six in 10 people will make New Year's resolutions this year, but only 25% are still going to be keeping them by the end of January. And only one motivated person out of 12 are going to accomplish those goals. In this video, I'll share five resolutions everyone needs to make and reveal three secrets that will guarantee you're one of those successful people at keeping your goals or resolutions. We're talking New Year's resolution ideas today on Let's Talk Money. Beat that. Make money. Make your money work for Creating you. the financial future you deserve. Let's Talk Money. Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue with the Let's Talk Money channel here on YouTube. A special shout out to everyone in the nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Merry Christmas Nation, Happy Holidays. I hope you're with the ones you love and enjoying just a little bit of downtime here at the end of the year. Uh, that new year is sneaking up on us and you know what that means, New Year's resolutions. Now to be honest, I hate these with a passion but not for the reason you might be thinking. It makes absolutely no sense to me to wait until the new year to try to make our lives better. But that's the tradition and I want to help you be as successful as possible. So we're doing a special video just on the most common new year's resolutions, why they fail and three secrets to goal setting that will guarantee your success, whether it's in resolutions or any time of year. Now new year's resolutions are a global hobby and nearly 2 billion people are going to create that goal dream or the wish when the calendar turns over. Here in Colombia, the custom is to eat 12 grapes individually as the clock strikes 12, making a wish on each one. You know, by midnight I've usually drank enough wine to equal a couple of dozen grapes anyway, so I just make the wishes. Now according to a survey by Zello of 2,000 people, 71% of New Year's Eve partiers are going to make a resolution to diet or eat healthier. 65% or about 2 in 3 people will resolve to exercise more. Half of those revelers are going to determine to lose weight and one in three will set their goals on saving more or spending less. Finally, about one in four people are going to make a decision to learn a skill or a hobby. And again, just on those statistics, only about one person out of every 12 will ever accomplish these. But New Year's resolutions or making any goal can be a turning point in your life. It's not about finding the motivation. It's not even about being some type A focused person. All you need are just a few tips to guarantee you reach those goals. Now I want to give you five ideas for New Year's resolutions you can make, five real changes to make in your life. Then I'm going to reveal those three secrets that will help you accomplish any goal you set. Now for our resolutions, we're going to be focusing on the trifecta, the holy trinity of life, health, wealth, and romance. For your health, I feel like people are always overcomplicating this with all kinds of fad diets and exercise crazes. You're either eating too much fat or not enough. Uh, you're eating like a caveman, then you're only drinking juice. I mean, seriously, was this ever going to help anyone? Good health doesn't have to be so complicated. First here, I want you to make a resolution to stop eating to that point of stomach busting. You know what I'm talking about, right? Our portions are just ginormous. It's not, it's not so much a problem at home, but when you go out to eat and between appetizers, a meal and dessert, God help me if I drop the check because I'm not bending over to pick it up. So that's resolution number one. Just stop eating to the point where you feel like you're going to explode. And next for your health, we're going to be upping your level of exercise just one notch. We're not turning into Olympic athletes here, okay? If you're only walking as far as you need to grab the remote, then we're not going to be training for a marathon this year. If you're not doing anything now, then just go out three days for a fast walk. Now that doesn't mean walking around the mall with your family. That means fast walk, maybe carrying some hand weights. If you're already exercising regularly, then just kick it up one more level. Those three resolution hacks I'm going to share at the end of this video are really going to be super important here. They're not only going to help you keep up your resolutions, but also how to set them up for success. Now, just like your health is about those two forces, what you eat and the calories you burn, your wealth is about saving and income. Now there are at least twice as many videos here on YouTube about saving and budgeting as there are about in the income side of the equation. You know, saving and budgeting have their place, but you know as well as I do, sometimes you just can't save anymore. You need to start making more money. So our third resolution is going to be start that side hustle, an online business or any kind of income stream that you can count on every single month. This doesn't have to mean that you're starting a business this week and making a few grand a month by February. You're going to start with a plan. Pick an income stream or a side hustle and just start developing it. Now I'm going to link in the video description below to some videos with different side hustle ideas. Honestly, this doesn't have to be like a part time job. We've highlighted a lot of the ideas on this channel that maybe take five or 10 hours a week and, and can easily make a couple of thousand dollars a month. Look for those videos in the description below and put this one on your list. 
Now our last resolution before those three secrets to reaching your goals is going to be to improve your love life. Now for those of you with a partner or just that special someone, this is going to be an easy one. If you've been married or with someone for as long as I have, 10 years since last June, then you know how easy it is to fall into that routine. Think about it. Think about everything you used to do while dating, the love notes, the compliments. We're not talking about the gifts or going out to eat, just the stuff that costs nothing but showed that you were thinking about them. It can be the easiest thing, but unless you set a reminder, you're going to forget about it. So I want you to set an email reminder for a specific day each week to remind yourself to compliment your loved one. Maybe once every couple of weeks, do something special like leave those little love notes around the house or, or just make it a point to talk for 20 or 30 minutes a day. For those of you that haven't found that special someone yet, sorry, but you're on your own. Why do you think I stayed married for 10 years? It's tough out there. Okay, so this one's going to be a little bit harder, but just make a resolution to meet two new people every single week. That's it. Just start with that small talk while you're waiting in the line or at the gym or really just anywhere. No motives here. Talk to anyone. Doesn't have to be your soulmate. Doesn't have to be anybody special. Just get comfortable talking to new people, asking those questions, starting a conversation. Not only are you going to be getting better at starting a conversation with someone, but you're going to meet a lot of new people and who knows? So we've got our five New Year's resolutions, or at least ideas for five resolutions in the health, wealth, and romance. Now I want to share those three tips to keeping your resolutions, to actually achieving any goal you make. Now, first is your goal has to be measurable and realistic. Remember here, we didn't say that you're going to be jumping off the couch and bench pressing 350 immediately. You're just trying to up your game by one or two levels in these. Uh, but you do also have to be able to measure your progress. You can't just say, I want to lose weight, or maybe I'm going to start making more money. Those types of general goals just aren't motivating enough. And even if you do start, it's not really a goal, but just an idea. Not only should you make that end result, that end goal measurable like lose 10 pounds, uh, you need many goals to get there like lose 3 or 5 pounds by, by February or by March or to be able to jog a mile without stopping. By making your goals measurable like this, you'll be able to track your progress and stay motivated and you'll know how close you are to success. Next is don't make goals for the year. It's the dumbest thing because who really thinks 12 months in advance? Nation, let me tell you, every 12 month goal starts and ends the exact same way. You resolve to lose like 20 pounds by the end of the year and figure that's only about a pound and a half a month, so totally doable. But then you've got all year, so you're really in no rush. And maybe you go to the gym a few times in January, but promise yourself that you're really going to get started next month. By the time you realize it, you've forgotten and it's November and there is no way you're dropping 20 pounds in eight weeks. Instead of New Year's resolutions, I want you to make your resolutions for three months at a time. 12 weeks, that's how long you're going to be aiming for. Not only is this going to put light at that end of the tunnel and motivate you to get started, but there's actually some science behind this. Researchers at University College London found that it takes approximately 66 days to create a new habit or just break an old one. That's the amount of time, a little under 10 weeks, that you need to do something regularly to turn it into a habit. Now that means exercising regularly, watching those calories, remembering to compliment your wife, anything you want to do regularly, if you can do it for that 10 to 12 weeks, you will have turned that into a habit. At that point, it's going to be like second nature and you'll be able to continue doing that without having to consciously force yourself. So make those three month goals. This is going to make it easier to get started, stay motivated and turn it into a habit. Now Nation, I read a lot of biographies and autobiographies from some very successful people. In just about every one of these books, you see this hard charger setting goals, driving to those goals and then smashing through them all by themselves. Wouldn't it be great if that's how it really worked for the rest of us? You know I'm a big believer in the human spirit, in that determination and just iron will to get things done, but for most of us, it just doesn't always work out. Put it another way, if you try to go it alone with your goals, you're going to be one of those 11 out of every 12 people that fails by Groundhog's Day. You need to tell someone about your resolutions. Share with them why those goals are important to you and what you're going to do to reach them. Ask them to tell you their goals and offer to keep each other accountable. In fact, I want you to do right now, put your goals in the comments section below. What are you going to do for this next 12 weeks? We're going to help keep everyone accountable here in the Bowtie Nation. A good resolution is about transforming your life and you cannot do that without challenging yourself. You need a support system and someone that's going to lift you up when you fall. Find that person and apply these two other tips to your New Year's resolutions and you will never be disappointed. Click on the video to the right to see my 443 code to becoming a millionaire. 
That's four characteristics and four habits you need to become rich and three business ideas for that seven-figure payday. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.